Hey guys, here's what I'm going to be covering for you in this video. We'll be going over some general guidelines when administering vaccines, such as what you want to do in preparation, how to properly administer them, and what education to give your patients and their caregivers. You always want to review a patient's health history prior to administering immunizations to check for any reactions to previous vaccines or current health conditions which might contraindicate certain immunizations. For example, an MMR vaccine is not recommended for patients with a history of anaphylactic reaction to eggs or neomycin. You want to follow the vaccine manufacturer's guidelines regarding reconstitution, storage, and administration. Be sure to check expiration dates prior to administering. If the vaccine needs to be refrigerated, do not store it in the door. You want to store it on a central shelf where temperature changes will not decrease the vaccine's potency. Informed consent needs to be obtained before administration. You should also provide a vaccine information document to the patient. For documentation, you'll need to record the date, manufacturer and lot number of the vaccine, your name and credentials, and the site and route of vaccine. Educate the patient and primary caregivers regarding reactions to the vaccine. Erythema, tenderness, edema at the injection site for about 48 to 72 hours can all be normal side effects. Low-grade fever up to 102 Fahrenheit, drowsiness, irritability, and decreased appetite are also common side effects. Cold compresses may be applied to painful inflamed injection sites during the first 24 hours after the injection. Warm compresses may be used after that. Education you can provide to parents includes bicycling the baby's legs with each diaper change. That helps decrease soreness. They can give Tylenol every four to six hours and Motrin every six hours if the baby is at least six months old. Advise them to call their health care provider if the patient has a high fever or if high-pitched crying occurs. They should call 911 if seizures or an anaphylactic reaction occurs. Live attenuated vaccines, including but not limited to varicella, MMR, and zoster, are contraindicated in immunocompromised patients or if the patient lives with an immunocompromised individual. The common cold is not a contraindication for immunization. Parenteral vaccines should be administered in separate syringes, appropriate needle sizes, and into different injection sites. Proper needle size and injection sites help to minimize local reactions. IM, or intramuscular vaccines, should be administered in the vastus lateralis or ventrogluteal muscles. The dorsogluteal site, or buttocks, is not recommended. The deltoid muscle can also be used for IM injections if the patient is at least three years old. IM needles need to be between 22 to 25 gauge and at least one inch in length as to reach the muscle and not inject the vaccine into subcutaneous tissue. IM injections should also be given at a 90 degree angle. Subcutaneous, or SC, vaccines can be properly administered in the lateral upper arms, abdomen outside of the two inch area surrounding the umbilicus or navel, and anterior thighs. The needle should be 23 to 25 gauge and 5 eighths of an inch in length. You will want to administer SC vaccines at a 45 degree angle. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe for next week's video, which will cover the recommended vaccination schedule for 2020 and for tips to help you remember it. Have a fantastic day.